Hello from Wilderness Lodge. Yes. It's in the background there. <laughs> it feels so weird to actually be like on Disney property again. I know, it's been a while. It's been since... I mean, besides well, Disney Springs. Right, which but... we've been there a little bit, but besides Disney Springs, like we haven't been anywhere else on property I think the last all. time we were at a Disney hotel was maybe New Year's, like the first day of Oh yeah, the last time we stayed at a hotel was January 1st. Yeah. So, and we haven't a lot been, has happened. We haven't been anywhere near Magic Kingdom, which I actually went the wrong way. So we came from like the Fort Wilderness area. So we still didn't go by the castle, which I kind of wanted to see it since it's pink now. Yeah. Which based on what I've seen online, it looks not so great to me, but I could feel very different in person maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to see it today, but maybe we'll see it when we leave um, tomorrow. We're only here for one night. It's going to be a little bit of like a little mini staycation figured. Um, so the parks are still not opening for like two, three weeks. So the idea is there should be nobody here, which there's definitely cars in the parking lot. So it's not like we're the only people here, but I assume it should be pretty quiet because there's not a whole lot of a reason to come to Disney right now <laughs> with no cars. Out, I guess. Yeah, so we'll see. I mean, I know they have very limited dining. Masks are required everywhere in the hotels, out in public, so like not in your own room, but um, like walking around the lobby and the store, if you're going to and from dining. Um, kind of like Disney Springs, you can only take it off while you're eating. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how like they've handled the lobby. So I know they have a whole new check-in system called like straight to room. So that's what we did. So you fill out your check-in on the My Disney Experience app and then you bypass the whole front gate or the front desk. So it gave us our room number. So we're going to get, be able to go straight to our room. No need to check in and all, which is good for social distancing. Mm -hmm. Sure. And yeah, then we'll just maybe be able to explore the hotel a bit. It's been a while since I've stayed here. Yeah. Um, I know I've been here more recently than you. Yeah, I know. Um, I think the last time like we came for Geyser Point, like last summer. Like right Yeah, and that was more recently than I've stayed here, but I, like, I, I did stay here like two or three years ago, I think, but it's been a little while. Yeah, no, I stayed here probably like 20 years ago. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah. um, it's been a while. It's good to be back. So we're going to head in. Um, maybe I'll be able to film the lobby, but while we're like heading towards the room, because I think we have to go into the lobby for our room, but we'll walk around the hotel a little bit later, but we're probably going to drop off our stuff first, and then we'll explore Wilderness Lodge. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to point out, so, uh, I guess the only thing that we've really experienced so far was stopping at the security booth for parking. He was so nice. He was really, he was great. <laughs> um, I didn't see his name, but he was no, great. <laughs> um, so yeah, how they're handling the hotels right now is in order to reduce the number of people in the hotels and to be able to really social distance for the guests that are staying here, nobody can just show up at a hotel right now. So you do have to have a hotel reservation or a dining reservation to be here in general. So he did have to make sure we were checking in. He had to take my ID, make sure we had a reservation in the system and check all that information before he let us into park. So you can't just show up at a hotel and go to counter service, for example, because they want to make sure that they're really limiting who's in the hotels right now. And we got the grand reveal. Now right up here on the right of the overhang here is where you would typically come for my for the Magical Express, unless it's my Disney experience. And they did confirm that the Magical Express is going to be available when the parks open. Or it actually I think already is, I guess, for people that are coming now. I guess. But there's not too many people coming with the parks closed. Um, but it is transportation that has confirmed to be operating. They are running the buses as well but they haven't really confirmed any of the transportation yet. All right, we've made it to Wilderness Lodge. I've never There's seen a, a Disney hotel here. this empty. There's like maybe 10 other people in the lobby right now total. Here's Whispering Canyon, which is this a dumb restaurant. I don't think I see a single person seated there, which maybe it's not open yet, but like I imagine it is. There's just a bunch of waiters standing there. Yeah, they're just chilling. But it's so quiet in here. And the music. We see the plexiglass over by the front desk for all of the cast members to separate from the guests checking in if you need to go to the front desk but again they have that straight to room so you can get your check-in information through the app and they had a sign right in the doorway telling you about that as well now it sounds like the little like bubbling river over there is turned off which is kind of sad but overall it just feels great to be back we got all the distanced uh, rocking chairs over by the fireplace but i think we're gonna head towards our room now so we just passed the entrance to artist point right there which has been like the Snow White character dining, but that's closed currently. And then down here is Roaring Fork, which is a counter service. And that is one of the dining locations that's currently open. So it took us a while to find our hallway, but we've made it. So we actually had to go down a floor because the lobby's floor too. 
But here we are, and I haven't used a magic band in such a long time, so it's gonna be exciting. <gasps> Back in a Disney hotel. All right, this is our room after a lot of effort to find it. This is a studio in Copper Creek Villas in Wilderness Lodge. So first thing we have here is the kitchen, or the kitchen, of course, the bathroom. We've got a big sink and countertop here. And this is the bathroom. Now they still have the individual toiletries here and it's a tub and shower with a rainfall shower as well. And then a little kitchenette right here with a mini fridge, coffee maker and a microwave. And then these are some refurbished rooms, or the Copper Creek ones are actually newer, so they have like the platform beds, so you can put your suitcases under them. Got a lot of storage, so there's drawers here on this little bench. It's cool. It's in oh the yeah. Bathroom. So this is of course something new they're doing now in the COVID world, where they're telling you that this TV room has been fully sanitized and they put it in a plastic package for you. And then here is all the enhanced cleaning they're doing. So it looks like we have a little floor plan of the room and it points out all the things that they've cleaned, which include all the door handles, light switches, the beverage area, bedding, bathroom, all that fun stuff. So everything has been deep cleaned, which is good to see. It looks like all the outlets have USB ports in them, which is always good. So you can charge all your devices. And then because we're first floor, we don't have a pool view or anything. We've got a forest. Um, <laughs> But it definitely has that Wilderness Lodge look to it, I guess. So I guess we won't be seeing the geyser from the room, but maybe we'll be able to catch it when we're out by the pool or something. All right, so we have officially dropped all of our stuff off at the room. So we got the waterfall in the distance. Here is, this is the Copper Creek pool. So there's like two main pools here at Wilderness Lodge. And I imagine they'll both be open because Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge are both open on our DVC properties. And the Boulder Creek pool's over in this direction. So we're gonna head over here. Yeah, yeah so there's been a lot of confusion. <laughs> so the main sit down with Spring Canyon on the TV says it's only open for breakfast, which we thought was weird. Oh, there's the geyser, which usually runs each hour. So probably won't see it launching right now, but there it is. Oh, it feels like it's a be here. I know, it feels like it's, well, it has been months, but it feels like it's been forever. Like, I just love this area. Yeah, this is a very, like, I just love how natural this hotel is with, like, the rivers and the waterfalls. And then right across, we can actually see. Oh, is that the hotel? Yeah, so that's gonna, that is the construction site for Reflections, I believe. It definitely looks like it. And that's where the old River Country Water Park was which supposedly there's been rumors that they are no longer working on it and they canceled it just because there isn't like huge demand for hotels at the moment, but who knows if that's true or not. Maybe it was just delayed to be determined, but yeah, it has been very confusing as far as like information on the app compared to the TV. So it says Geyser Point is open on the TV. It gave hours, but it also said temporarily unavailable <laughs> they said like geyser point dash temporarily unavailable as the name of the restaurant which was super confusing hours so like don't say that it's closed but give hours up for it yeah which the one thing that i think is why there's a lot of confusion right now is florida has like a lot of confusing rules about bars if they're allowed to be open or not just because bars are like huge gathering spots so well, they like the quick service is closed yeah the food windows are closed so maybe it's just the bar? Just the, maybe they're not doing food here. I don't know, but the TV also said Whispering Canyon, which is the sit down, is only open for breakfast, which makes no sense to me. And like, why would you not have at least one sit down open for dinner? Because that would only leave Roaring Fork as like the one dining location to eat at right now because Artist Point is closed entirely. So we know they're not open at all, which then we assume this would be the secondary location to get dinner at right now. But it's very close to your room. <laughs> it is very close by, which is nice. Maybe they're serving food at the tables, but normally you can walk up where this railing is and there's a walk up window to order food at. And there is the menu on the wall. They have like the plexiglass barrier, but like the little garage door is down. So we may ask them at some point just so we know if we could eat dinner here or not. I don't know if they're doing food. It might be drinks only. So we'll have to figure out that 
So we'll probably ask them a little bit later. But then this green building. Oh yeah, the bison. <laughs> but yeah, so this green building is the Boulder Ridge Villas. So yeah, it's a little confusing how there's like two separate DBC properties here. But then part of Copper Creek, they also have, or maybe the cabins are considered Boulder Ridge. I'm honestly not sure. But yeah, we got Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining. Got like a little train track. I do love the theming of this resort a lot. And the really cool part about this pool right here, so this is the Boulder Ridge pool. And it does say it's open till 11, which I read online that all the pools were closing at nine. But this might be more of like, this is like a quiet pool. So maybe this one's open later, which would be nice. But they have like this little crane type thing in the middle of the pool, which as far as I'm aware, based on what I've read, they salvaged that from the old Catastrophe Canyon from Hollywood Studios Backlot Tour. So some cool theme park history here at Wilderness Lodge. But yeah, it's definitely very quiet in general. Like there are people here for sure, but not nearly what you'd see on a typical day when the parks are open, of course. So no issues distancing. There's really nobody around you right now. And that's just because nobody's here. But still got nice views of Bay Lake. Oh, we could see the contemporary from down here. So that's exciting. Okay, so we are like at the edge of Bay Lake here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is definitely reflections out there. Now, normally they would do the electrical water pageant out here on the water, but I do believe they've announced that they're not doing that at this time, like once the park's open. And that's just because they've cut back on a lot of nighttime offerings, mostly due to like not encouraging gatherings, but they did say the electrical pageant will not be happening. And then we have Bay Lake Tower right there. And the contemporary is through the trees. Yeah, it's, it's there. We just can't quite see it from this angle, but it's there. And that's Bay Lake Tower, and if you look at the very top of the trees, you can see the very, like, spike of the slide at their pool there. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting, and I see, like, a water fountain, I think, over there. But that kind of feels a little bit more like Disney to me. Not that Wilderness Lodge is not Disney, but, I mean, contemporary is pretty classic. So that's cool. It is so peaceful here. Like, it just feels like... I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> and, like, with nobody being here, it definitely, like, emphasizes that. Yeah. So we've never filmed at Wilderness Lodge, so I definitely want to kind of show off the different amenities of this resort. But at the same time, I'm also trying to show what's not available that typically would be. Yeah, true. Because um, that hopefully gives an idea for people that are planning on coming, like after the parks open later this summer, you have an idea of what is kind of eliminated from the current offerings. So right over here is a boat dock. Now this is not the boat you would take to Magic Kingdom. Over there. Yeah, that boat docks down by Bay Lake Tower. Um, but this boat dock is for boat rentals, and you would rent them from this building right here. So they have boat and bike rentals. So yeah, it says Teton Boat and Bike, and it's currently closed. So, and if the building being closed doesn't show you that they're not available, they make it pretty clear by saying this area is closed and there's no boats there. So it looks like boat rentals are not currently offered. This looks like it would typically be like a putting green, and they're all filled in. So I imagine those like clubhouse type things, um, like the community centers, which for Wilderness Lodge is Reunion Station right here, they all look closed. And, I, and that's totally understandable. Like they have a bunch of pool tables right there, um, which this is actually right, this is the backside of Geyser Point to give you an idea of where we are. So we just kind of walked around this building here. They got foosball and, pin, and uh, ping pong tables right there. And I'm sure they're not allowing any of that. And that's just because having guests share ping pong paddles is not too smart right now. Cause that's kind of hard to monitor and sanitize them when they're in like an open communal space like that. So I imagine any of those kind of rental or community, um, I guess activities right now are probably not happening too much. There's some fish in the water fighting. Fighting fish? I think it's a heart attack. You see it right there? Oh, I see a fish. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but he's making a lot He's got whiskers. Fish. Is that like a catfish? <laughs> Do you see him? It's like... I don't know. I'm trying to find him on the camera. Oh, he went away. Yeah, he did go away. Like, he it's was the wilderness of Wilderness away. Lodge. <laughs> it is so quiet here, though. <laughs> Just gonna keep saying that because it's kind of like ridiculous that, I mean, from here, I mean, you can see a good part of like the open -in area here of Wilderness Lodge, and I see one person total. Two, if you include the sitting, uh, someone sitting over there at Geyser Point, but extremely low crowds. Okay, so I actually wanted to clarify, I lied. The reunion station is not closed like I thought it was. <laughs> Now I don't honestly know if they're letting you use the foosball tables and 
uh, the ping pong or not. Maybe they are cleaning them between use. So I could be wrong about that because there is a, yeah, there. there's a cast member in there. Maybe and to send people away, but I don't think so. There wouldn't be... Yeah, would normally be they would just close it. And But you said she had pins too. Yeah, she had a pin board. Oh, there's a pin. Oh, I did read that. So it sounds like when the park's open... There's a little kid in there. Uh, yeah, they're you can't see it. But they did say... Oh, there's a TV playing something in there too. Um, but they did say when the park's open that I don't think cast members will have the lanyards of pins to trade, but they are going to have pin boards in all the parks. So pin trading won't be, I guess, the same as it used to be for now, but it will still be offered. So they're not eliminating pin, pin trading. They're just probably trying to eliminate that back and forth pin passing between people. But yeah, I think we're gonna go find out about Geyser Point because I'm kind of curious what our dining options are. <laughs> if you look kind of straight back through there, they do have a children's splash area open. And then they also have on the tables out here by the pool. I'm gonna see what it's guys do Cool, so yeah. They have where you can mobile order at these tables out here. And then maybe they bring the food to you? Or maybe they tell you where to get it from? Yeah, yeah let's find out. It took me to Etsy. I don't know why. Yeah. Place an order. Let's see. Because I'm wondering if it's just a Roaring Forks menu. Or if it's like a pool bar. Because this says it's the salon by the spring, so it's definitely not the- maybe it's Geyser Point? Roaring Fork. Okay, so yeah, you can mobile order Roaring Fork, but then I imagine you probably have to go over to the restaurant to pick it up. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, here's a quick look at the pool. I can kind of go by the railing here. And they got the pool slide and the rocks. Now, it's not like super crowded, but there's definitely people here, so... I feel like if we go to the pool, which we were planning to, I would probably go to Boulder Creek. Or Boulder Ridge, not, I'm combining the two. I'd probably go to Boulder Ridge. Um, seems a lot less crowded. And right now, less crowded is good. But yeah, if you come back on this boardwalk area, this is how you get right up to the geyser here. And it looks like there's water in it, so it should be, hopefully be going off. And if I remember correctly from staying here in the past, it goes off at the top of the hour, which is in about 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna try to film it and hope I don't have a heart attack because of how loud it is. So here's one of the gates um, to get in, and this is right by the splash pad, and Amanda noticed that the hours for this pool were not, it closes at nine. So I guess maybe the main resort pool closes at 9 p.m., and then the one over by Boulder Ridge, which is like the quiet pool, that one closes later. So that might be standard across the resorts because I was reading that most pools were closing at nine right now. And from this angle, I'm getting very hard, like Grand Californian vibes. Oh yes. That's the thing that's so confusing to me. Like when we went to the Grand Californian, I was like, this is Wilderness Lodge. Like, it's like they are insane. very, very similar, which is weird to me because I love Grand Californian and I love Wilderness Lodge, but, but it is it'd be like Grand Floridian. exactly. It's so different. Not even close to Grand Floridian. Like this looks like very close. They're very similar. Um, yeah, got to go back to Disneyland someday. <laughs> um, maybe when the parks are open, that'd be a start. All right, so we just completed our walk around this entire pool. Right here is the Copper Creek Waterfalls. And then if you go right in here is where Roaring Fork is. So if you mobile order, you can go right in there to pick up your food. They also have safety signs on the doorway that tell you to wear your mask at all times, distance, cover your nose, uh, cover your mouth when you're coughing, wash your hands, those typical stuff. Got the waterfall here. And this cool little staircase through the rocks. I like this. I don't know where it's gonna take us. I guess to the top of the waterfall? All right, so at the top of the stairs, that right there is the main lobby. So if you went in those doors and straight back, you'd then be out by the parking lot. And this river is actually what goes into that little mini river and bridge in the back of the lobby, which was currently drained, unfortunately. Normally it like bubbles and looks really cool. Um, but the water wasn't going inside right now. But then the water, the river continues to this bridge and then goes down the waterfall that we just saw down by the pool. And this is a really cool angle of the pool deck from up here. See, so yeah, it looks like probably like every person at the hotel right now is out of the pool. <laughs> Which is still not a lot of people, but it's definitely more crowded at the main pool deck. But we'll see how the crowds continue like once the parks are actually open. Because this hotel in general is definitely still pretty quiet. We are back in the wilderness. Heading over to the geyser which I'm drawing a blank on its name. But, oh yeah, we can see the boat dock back there for Magic Kingdom Transportation. And here it is. This is like a really cool angle. 
Um, it should be launching in like four minutes, three minutes or so, if I'm correct. And it launches right at six o'clock, so we'll see. The geyser has begun. It's just a few minutes late. Oh, it's not shooting up very high yet, so it might take a minute. Let's see if it hits its like 120 feet that it normally does. So it's not looking very geyserish to me right now. Maybe it's not shooting up quite like it used to. Now it's not windy today because sometimes the wind can affect it, but I don't know. Looks more like a fountain right now. And maybe that's all it's doing today. The guys are just stopped again, so maybe that's all it did. <laughs> so maybe the geyser is not fully operational. It could be a little rusty maybe after not erupting for like four months. So I don't know. Maybe it'll do it later properly. We'll, we'll check back because it's loud and it shoots high up when it works properly. So we shouldn't miss it if it works later because I'm pretty sure at least before the closures and anything that it was usually until like 10 o'clock at night. So hopefully we'll be able to catch it again later and find out if it actually works or not. Okay, so we decided to come in the store to see all the Wilderness Lodge merchandise. So they got this really cool picture frame. It looks like the cabin or like the lobby actually with the little water guy of bubble thing at the bottom and the... <laughs> The, um, what's it called? Fireplace, that's the word. They got this awesome water bottle type thing with like a screw on like lid. Canteen. Yeah, it's really cool. And they got some more mugs. So they've got a Humphrey the Bear, a Wilderness Lodge ceramic mug, and then another ceramic mug. This one's got like almost like a little like koozie type thing over it. <laughs> and they got these little magnets that look like they're made out of like tree trunks. And then another like a picture frame stand type thing and then a quarter zip that says wilderness lodge some various moose lip balms which are interesting and some s soaps which are <laughs> yeah it's interesting how they oh that okay so that is wilderness lodge i was gonna say it's interesting how they have a bunch of things that are like not wilderness lodge branded and they have ornaments too and then some more than much artwork and an electric candle, which, yeah, it doesn't say anything on it, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. So they have all the Vacation Club merchandise that we've shown in previous videos. I think we definitely showed in our Saratoga video. Well, they're basically everywhere. And they got oh, Dooney. So yeah, feels very good to be back in like your typical Disney gift shop. Uh, but yeah, I think we've shown all of this before. Definitely. And I don't want to touch too many things because of not touching stuff other guests may buy, but I'll try to see any price I can. So this shirt is 35. Looks like this blue shirt down here is 30. And I'll try to show the design on it. it looks like it's Mickey. And then they have this suitcase right here, which is 160. And then back on the wall over here, we have all the Wilderness Lodge merchandise. And this stuff is awesome. So this is a polo shirt, $45. Here's like another pullover type thing, kind of similar to the quarter zip, but it's got like buttons on it. We got a long sleeve shirt which looks super soft. I love this one. This one's $40. It's established 94 at the bottom. And then we got one that just says Wilderness Lodge on it. All these shirts look so soft. Um, I imagine it's the same price. And then these are not Disney shirts, but some more like generic Wilderness Lodge vibe shirts, I guess. <laughs> Got the vibe. We got some Crocs over here. Oh yes. <laughs> and then some Disney golf clothes. And then a Wellness Lodge tank top here, which is right next to the quarters that we saw on the mannequin, as well as a kid's Wellness Lodge shirt, which is twenty-five dollars. We got two hats here, two different Wellness Lodge logos on them, and lots of Disney socks. As well as some snow hats, which you probably don't have too much use for in Florida, but they're awesome. We almost walked right by this. Uh, so this is certainly new, and I imagine this might become pretty standard in all the resorts and theme parks. <laughs> so here we have a Disney cloth face mask stand, and they have four for $20, or they're $6 each. And you got some hand sanitizer for sale as well. So they have all different character masks. These are the ones that they also released on Shop Disney 
a few months ago for pre-order, but now they sell them in Disney Springs, and now it looks like the hotels. So some look like, it, yeah, <laughs> have like the character's face, and they have like Pooh and Stitch down there, as well that as- That Mickey one is really cute. Yeah, like a classic Mickey one. They got princesses. And then down here, they have a Pixar one, and I, I do have this one. And it's a fun design with all the different Pixar characters. And they have all different sizes. So some say large, some say medium, and I don't see any smalls, but I do think they make small. Unless there's smalls down here, and no, I'm not seeing any. Maybe on the other side. Oh, yeah, those are not face masks, so maybe they don't have smalls here. And then back here, just all your traditional 2020 Disney merchandise. They got ink and paint, Disney mugs, all that fun stuff over here. All right, so we decided to come eat at Geyser Point. So it is actually open, we figured that out. So they have food, but you can't order a drink at the table. You have to go up to the bar and bring it back yourself. And they have a QR code to scan the menu. And we did find out on the app, they had like a chat feature and they told us that, uh, what's it called? Room service, that's the word, is not available at this time. So no, no room service at the resort, but out here at Geyser Point with a great view of Bay Lake. All right, so uh, Geyser Point kind of has like a, a small menu of entrees as well as like some, I think what was it called, lighter bites or something? Yeah. Lighter fare? Yeah. So this was on the lighter fare menu and then the burgers on the normal entrees. This is, so I think it was what, like a barbecue brisket? Bar cheesy barbecue brisket. But it looks like it's like, kind of like a dip for the chips maybe? And this yeah. is a bison burger which has like a lot going on with waffle oh, fries. intimidating. It looks good. And they did actually take our drinks at the table. So as long as you're ordering food, I guess you're allowed to get drinks. They said otherwise you have to walk up to the bar. It smells really good. So yeah, I'm really glad this is open because we've been here before. It's been a long time. I think we only got dessert here. So yeah, we've never had food here. I've had drinks from here before, but it was before I was 21, so I don't think I've ever had like a signature drink. Oh yeah, I, we had like like um, smoothies or smoothies, something. Yeah. yeah, it looks really good. All right, so we just managed to cut the burger in half, which was surprisingly easy because it looked kind of intimidating. But I got a huckleberry punch, and then you got blueberry lemonade. Yeah, and they both look really cool color-wise. We haven't tried them yet, but they look nice. And I want to say the drinks were like 15-ish here, uh, yeah. something like that, like four, 14, 15. 14, yours was 15. Yeah, so they're like all around that price point. And I forget, honestly, the price point of the food, but it wasn't crazy. This was like 11. This was 11. So yeah. This was probably 16. 12, oh, was it? 12. No, it could be. <laughs> I don't know, but it's huge. So sharing like an appetizer and entrees definitely seems like more than enough food. All right, so we just finished up dinner. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, so I'm glad that we checked to see if they were serving food. Yeah. Because there's definitely a bit of a learning curve right now with, I think, any of the hotels, and that's just how it is right now. But it was definitely confusing, like, trying to figure out if they had food or not. Yeah, we had no idea. But, I mean, I'm glad we went. It was really good. I don't know which one I liked. I think it, I think I preferred the burger. The burger was so good. But, like, the burger was, was good, too. too. Yeah. <laughs> And both drinks were really good. Oh my god, my drink was amazing. So, all around, everything we have is great. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely preferred the menu at Geyser Point over like Roaring Fork, which is the counter service, so I'm glad we went there. But, I don't know. I don't know how the other hotels are working, I don't know what is and is not open. I think most of that information is available online, so it's definitely something I'd recommend checking out because it may alter your plans a little bit depending on what's currently available especially before the parks open mm -hmm. but if you're coming to wilderness lodge i recommend point. yeah i recommend Geyser point, point is open it is open and it's good it's not temporarily unavailable at least for no. now at but. least for now <laughs> and um whispering canyon is open yeah and the and the tv said it was TV only breakfast said it was closed. but when we went to the gift shop there were people sitting at the table yeah. so it's definitely open so, yeah don't trust the tv I the guess. tv might just be <laughs> maybe it's like a day by day situation right now and the TV just may not be updated as regularly because um, the app did say Whispering Canyon was open but the app also said Geyser Point wasn't so all around it's a mystery um, they do have a new ch I think I mentioned earlier that the chat feature in the app so I used that yeah. they told me that Geyser Point was scheduled to be open so they said I would recommend looking thank you Maureen yeah so Maureen told us on the app we came over and there was a guy right there we asked him we're like are you serving food today and he's like oh yeah He's like, food and drinks, he's like, heat yourself and we'll come over. Mm -hmm. So, it was totally normal operation here at Geyser Point and it was really good. Yeah, and every, all the tables were spread out, so it's a nice distance between Which I feel like it's always spread out there. Yeah, no, the, the chairs are like, very big and, and like, 
Because it's more of a lounge, but yeah. it's also like the pool bar here. I don't think Wilderness Lodge has like a typical pool bar. Yeah, not like right next to the pool, like no. at the pool. It's a couple, it's like in between the two pools, so. But yeah, we were definitely distanced. Um, there were other people there for sure. Like we weren't the only people there, but um, we were more than far enough away from them. So it was good. So yeah, definitely recommend that. And I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the night. Uh, maybe go to a pool or something, but I mean, that's all you can really do right now until the parks are open, yeah. but it's still nice to be able to have somewhere to walk around and be somewhere where it's so empty that you don't have to worry about being in a huge crowd. It's a change of scenery and it's Disney, so it makes True. it even better. And it's basically the most Disney we're going to get right now. Yeah. But dinner was good and who knows what we're going to do next. Good morning, it's now checkout day and we actually decided we're going to share an entree here from Ring Fork for breakfast because they had a banana foster french toast which sounded amazing. But I wanted to kind of give a quick look at how it looks like the counter services are working now in hotels. So they have tables kind of creating this barrier here. You can no longer get your own beverages and we've seen that over at Disney Springs. So you just hand your cup to a cast member and they'll get it for you. And it looks like they have a one and two station on the ground. So when your mobile order food is ready, they'll tell you what station to go up to and then all your food's packaged to go and then you just bring it over to a table if you want to sit inside or outside and they have like your creamer and sugar and everything for coffee, syrup and all that fun stuff over here. But it kind of eliminates all the high touch areas so all the cast members are the only ones touching them. All right, so we got our food from Roaring Fork. Now it was really easy, they put everything in to-go bags and it has like a little sticker on it. It tells you if like the sticker's been broken. See a cast member, so it's like sealed and clean. <laughs> I got coffee because I can't remember the last time I've had Joffrey's coffee from Disney. <laughs> not that I get it very often because it's not my favorite, but I don't mind it. So right now it's kind of exciting just because it's something I haven't had in months. And then we got Banana Foster's French Toast to try. Um, so I think we saw this at Disney Springs where like pretty much by default everything's put in to-go containers and you take it to whatever table you want. We were watching them sanitize tables as soon as people were leaving in there. Oh, yeah, she was like constantly cleaning. Yeah, like, San uh, and sanitizing her hands between like every cup she was filling. So they were really on it and obviously everything coming in to-go container guarantees that your food's clean as well. And it looks good. And then I think it must be like a banana foster sauce, I think. And then whipped cream maybe. Yeah. And they had like containers of syrup and everything inside if we wanted any of that. But we chose to come outside. So you just grab your own table. All these little two-seater tables in the middle have stickers on them that say don't use this table for social distancing. But the other tables are all six feet apart it looks like. And then there's indoor seating as well. But we wanted to come out here right before we leave. Get a nice view of the lodge and the pool area. Which maybe the pool just opened at 11 because there was nobody in it when we came out but yeah, it, was very it sounds like there are now so maybe the pool just opened up but it's a really nice day out it's also not nearly as hot as it was yesterday so, so one quick little disney meal before we go back home <laughs> but disney will hopefully be open eventually in a few weeks all right i think that's gonna be it for our like little one day staycation <laughs> at wilderness lodge it was nice it was yeah i mean Oh, and the parking lot's like empty now. Yeah, no, like half the, everyone's gone. Yeah, which it, it looked crowded when we got here and we were a little concerned because the whole idea was we were coming before the parks opened and we thought it'd be empty. But I don't know where like all the people were that were in the cars because it really was not crowded yeah. in the hotel at all. It was um, like, yeah, it was not bad. No one, well, there were a few more people in the lobby like today, like at the concierge that I mm, noticed. Yeah. Um, but so maybe some people showing up in the morning, yeah. but um, overall it was not bad. There were again, I feel like the most crowded area was the pool, which I wouldn't say was overcrowded, but we went to the quiet pool last night and that yeah. wasn't bad at all. Yeah, no, like as soon as we got there, a bunch of people came too because the other pool closed. Yeah, we then, didn't time it well, but they weren't, we were like in our own little corner yeah. and then they all left pretty quickly and then like yeah, went back were, to the room. they got bored because <laughs> there's no slide or anything, so. Right, which was fine. I mean, we, the, wa the water was really warm. <laughs> it was like warm and, bath water. Yeah, and we just like sat there for a while and there was nobody around us, which was great. Yeah. Um, it was a really nice pool too. Mm -hmm. So overall it was really nice. Um, breakfast was good too. So we got mm -hmm. to have like one little quick meal at Disney. Um, there was, I think, a, one other family outside total. Yeah. Um, there was nobody out by the pool today when we were leaving. Yeah. So overall, it was definitely really quiet, but hopefully this was helpful to kind of see how the resorts are, I guess, like what's changed, how they are now after the, on the closure. So hopefully this, if you're coming after the park's open, this gives you an idea of what to expect. Um, we haven't been to other hotels, obviously, since they've opened, but I would imagine it's pretty similar as far as, like, how many restaurants are open? Like the arcade was closed here, for example. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a lot of the activities that would 
kind of, I guess, require a lot of touching and interactiveness are gone for the time being. And I would definitely say, like, if you're coming, pre like, prepare for it to be different. Um, but I wouldn't say it was, like, a bad experience by mm -hmm. any means. It's just, it's just gonna be different for a little while, but it was still nice to see it. And I haven't stayed here in a few years. You haven't stayed here in as long as you can remember, so it was still really nice to be able to come. Yeah. And it was it's, very nice. Yeah, so. It had good vibes. Definitely. <laughs> good background music. It doesn't really oh feel like God. you're at Disney at all. I know, I kept saying, well, like, I was either saying, I like, this isn't Disney or, like, this isn't Florida because, like, you're in the wilderness. You're, like, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So, it was a great visit overall. Hopefully, this was, again, hopeful to kind of see what the hotels are like now. And hopefully, it'll be safe to go out to Disney in a few weeks as long as they're opening goes um based on the current schedule they have so it's scheduled to open on july 11th as long as nothing changes yeah. and hopefully we'll be able to be out there sometime around then as long as florida keeps heading in the right direction hopefully so we'll kind of see how that goes and we'll have more content when the time comes but if you like this video definitely give us a like subscribe to our channel and we'll try to add more content as long as more and more things keep opening and we will see you guys whenever that time comes <laughs> So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys the next time we go to Disney and Beyond.